Assembly passes two appropriation bills on the last day of the four-day session. Neem Chakibgin, Hankaliant and T.H. Radheshyam sworn in as ministers. Chief Minister Birian Ajo's people of speedy resolution of issues facing the state. Works come to a complete halt at Rims. All staff and students all sit in demanding appointment of director. And police arrest for accused in murder of Sapam Ranjit of Hainan. Angry mob destroys houses of the Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Tangjum with the top stories. The last day of the four-day session of the Manipur State Assembly lasted for just 13 minutes. On the last day of the session of the House, today unanimously passed the Manipur Appropriation No. 1 Bill 2017 and the Manipur Appropriation No. 2 Bill 2017. Chief Minister N. Biren introduced both the bills. The Manipur Appropriation No. 1 Bill 2017 authorizes payment and appropriation of certain further sums from and out of the consolidated fund of the state of Manipur for the services of financial year 2016-17. The Manipur Appropriation Number no. 2 Bill 2017 authorizes payment and appropriation of certain further sums out of the consolidated fund of the state of Manipur for the services of the financial year 2017-18. The session began on the 20th of this month. Speaker Yumnam Kemchan adjourned the House signed I. With the swearing in of three more ministers today, the number of ministers in the BJP late government, including the chief minister, is now 12. The three ministers were administered the oath of office in secrecy by Governor Dr. Najma Ehebtula at the Raj Bhavan this afternoon. The ministers who were sworn in are Nemcha Kipkind, who was elected from Kangpokpi, V. Hankalian, who represents Churichanpur, and Thokchom Radheshyam, who was elected from from Hayrog. Neem Chakibgan had been elected to the assembly from Kangpokpi for the first time in 2012. V. Hankalian had represented Churachanpur seat in the assembly for two times, 1995-2000 and Thanlon seat in 2007. Tauchom Radheshyam, who defeated Minister Moirangthim Okindro in Hayrog, contested the assembly election for the first time. The portfolios of the ministers are likely to be announced late tonight. Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirian has assured the people of speedy resolution of the issues facing the state. Speaking to media persons after the swearing-in at Raj Bhavan today, Birin said, as promised earlier, the BJP government has lifted the economic blockade. He said he has returned to the Churachanpur JAC to resolve the issues of dead bodies which are still lying in the morgue in Churachanpur. Birin termed the expansion of the cabinet as reasonable. He also assured that the Portions of the Imphal's Ribam Road, which are in a deplorable condition, will be repaired by April so that the problems facing the people on this road will be solved. Yamin Nariva Party Mayam we cooperate in the Guinea. Good governance of a pin and every gay. I quite a commit to given in a Mado equate Hengaroy, Mayam Uramani, Lambi, Porthole, Labour Corp, Disakurimaki, Porthole Man Beloina, Madame the immediately with your quick program, Siamagi Matam Litimina, or the immediately quick porthole and single Lambi set by the Kitten, convenient when in a present in Yako, quite a whole company. For example, give you a quay. An official in Arana Hanagi, Kanata Kanakuni, invited in Tagre, Laiba, Tari Kunmangi, Ayuk Puntarada. I personally invite Tokre, Moishu Lapigin and Taji. 
works at Manipur's biggest hospital and the Central Institute, RIMS came to a complete halt today. Doctors, nurses, students and other staff of the institute today cease work and demonstrated demanding a full-fledged director or a director in charge of the institute. The emergency ward and the OPD were blocked. The protesters also ceased work on the night of this month, demanding appointment of director in charge. They said they will cease work until the appointment of a director in charge is appointed. A number of patients who came for treatment returned disappointed. Patient Yang, what happens is when a sick institute, a sick head, as in a run a chalai, get the bunny. A double head to the yard of bunny now, create administration county, port say labor in the county, a money, run a moxy stands in the labor bunny, another young have a say, must automatically acquaint a total dog drugs, but of them told a good of a tabamani. In Sazma Hapa have a say, I give more to the Akogi Motta, the Amna, Aruba Tabonati, must say, two net Hapakuyabana, two point as some Hapak to the Nusum labor say, must he have a quay Hapak Tribaba, in Sazma Hap Tribaba, quay, the Massa Taki and Akoy Grang. Left seven, okay, association, a home. Property worth about 10 lakh rupees were destroyed in a fire which brought out in the go down of the Family Welfare Directorate this morning. The go down is located in between the directorate and the civil supplies. It was suspected to have been caused by a short circuit. More than 1 lakh pieces of 0.1 ml and 0.5 ml syringes were de totally destroyed in the fire. Vaccine carrier box. 850 and one cold box 55 kept in the go down were also destroyed. Two computers of civil supplies office also caught fire and were destroyed. The items destroyed included those to be sent to various health centers in different districts. The department, however, ensured that the fire will not hamper its vaccination schedules. Furious mob demolished the houses of those accused in the killing of Sapam Ranjit, alias Amu from Hengang Awang Lekai. Police fired tear gas shells to control the situation. Four persons, including the girlfriend of Ranjit, have been arrested by police. It may be recalled that Sapam Ranjit, who was a tractor driver, was found dead near a farm between Hengang Lekha and Mongjam yesterday morning. Police arrested his girlfriend, Lakshma, 16, and her mother, Thaudim, Tombino 48 from Achang Bigai Akam Ladak, Soram Sanjoy 26 from Achang Bigai Akam Awang Lekai, and Koijam Roshan 26 from Kundrakpam Ithai Mayai Lekai. On hearing the news of the arrest, angry people damaged the houses of Taudem Tombino and Soram Sanjoy this morning around 8.30. Later, the mob stormed the house of Koijam Roshan at Kundrakpam. A large number of police personnel stopped the people when they reached a bridge between Pangai and Kundrakpam. Police fired tear gas shields to control the mob and the mob pelted stones at the police in retaliation. Meanwhile, some person managed to sneak through a land and damaged the house of the Koijam Roshan. Co-convener of the JEC formed against the killing of Ranjit, Sanaljam Tondang said that four culprits were arrested after it was discovered that Ranjit was talking on the phone with a girl from Atanbikai on the day of the murder. He alleged that it was a planned murder as Tombi now hired the killers as she did not approve of the relation between Sanjit and her daughter. He said she wanted her daughter to marry Kojam Roshan. He said their involvement in the killing was suspected when they found Lakshma coming back to her house after eloping with Kojam Roshan on the previous day of the murder. Tondang said Tayanjam Kennedy, the owner of the tractor, and his wife Tayanjam Abema were not involved in the murder. He appreciated Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirin for assuring to produce the culprits within two days. Yai Palam Jing Lup, Kundrakpam and Kundrakpam Mayai Lai Gai Chao Kha Thaurang Nupi Lup said they have resolved to ostracize Koijam Roshan and his family as a public meeting. Roshan was accused in the killing of Sapam Ranjit.
Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur Desam arrested that asserted that the higher secondary examination conducted by the Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur is not free and fair. Volunteers of Desam seized mobile phones and guidebooks from the students appearing in the examination while conducting inspection at YK College Wangjing. Desam Vice President Ahibam Anand said two mobile phones were seized while two other students surrendered their mobile phones. He said the candidates were sending questions and receiving answers through WhatsApp groups, 12th exam group and a rising star. Ahibam Anand said it is very unfortunate that the OC and the invigilators allowed the students to cheat in the examination. He also said the organization will press the council to take action against the OC and the invigilators. <laughs> ในตัวบิวงางจริงสาธารณสิ่งที่ตะกะริกะริไอ้ยาวดิไฮเบนสิ่งบ่มาสิผลิตสิ่งตัวกันดามาสิถ้าจะมีเนื้อบ่ให้
Habi Wakanon, the Nimu in Kanna, Mount on the Changel Imam Yamsinji. World Water Day 2017 was observed jointly by Indian Red Cross Society, Manipur State Brands, and Center for Entrepreneurship and Skill Development, School of Social Sciences, Manipur University, yesterday. Speakers at the event stressed the need to use water economically. Radio Listeners Guild Manipur condoled the untimely demise of senior announcer of All India Radio Imphal, Salam Priyo Kumar, on March 17. In a press release, the Guild said it shared a grief of the bereaved family. Time for a small commercial break. Lots more coming up right after this break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the break and you're watching Primetime English News. The funeral of Commandant Dr. Rai, who died in 1984, was held today. The mortal remains of Commandant Durga Bahadur Rai were buried in Kumanlam Park, Sai Complex, and they were exhumed from the site. Three daughters of Commandant Durga Bahadur Rai filed a petition at the Court of Chief Judicial Magistrate, Imphal East, requesting her to allow performance of the last rites by cremating as a disease to Hindu religion. All Iringban Football Association, IFA, has demanded justice for Laiton Jamsana Lembi, who was found dead in Iringban, Hawaii Row, Lake Hall. In a press release, the association said it will support the any form of protest by the JEC. Yunako Grove has clarified that Lautongban Debalal from Thaubal Awang Laikai, who is the main suspect in the murder of Laiton Jamsana Lembi from Iringban in Kakjing district, is in no way associated with Yunako Group. The 14th Foundation Day of International Manipuris Mothers Association at Advantage Trust was celebrated today at Sangai Pat Community Hall, Brahmapur, Thangjam Laidak. Speaking as Chief Guest, announcer of AIR, Imphal Santi Kumar Sharma said, women played a major role in fighting against drugs and alcohol in the past, but their role seemed to have weakened. <laughs> In an advocacy meeting, come awareness program was held today at the conference hall of the for Network for Positive People in Fall West and PPIW Moirang Home Laklaubung in connection with the World TB Day to be observed on March 24. The program was held at the Vihan Project. District TB Control Officer CH Memcha said many facilities are now available in Manipur to treat TB patients. District AIDS Control Officer Dr. S. Gopal said there is a great possibility of of TV infecting HIV positive persons. TV have us in the Karino, ICB have us in the Karino, have us in Umutan, Tanga, the Akuna Tanga, the Tanga, eradicate the Wogi, on the Zimapung Paro with the Bimur Oma, some of the Bimapung common people that ICB basic idea may ama, TV basic idea may ama, TV is not a Yankada, the Gikari Tonga, everyone with the Forty-five Assam rifles handed over ten solar street lights to the people of Nong Green Village under Civic Action Project. Under the Civic Action Project, six Assam rifles also installed solar street lights in Namching Village in Sinapati District on March 19. Lining Thausana Mahi Thaugal Kanglob will help the climbers on the occasion of Chingoi. Europa on March 26. The organization appeals to the people not to use intoxicants on the day and perform the worship with dedication.
Sarui Kangba will be held by Amaiba Amaibi on March 25th, the last Saturday of Lamta at Uttra Sanglen, Sanakonu. Sajibu no Mapan Bacherauba and Chaitaba will be held on March 29th at Sanakonu. Now, the news from the world of sports. Manipur Police Sports Club C and Manipur Police Sports Club B entered the semis of the 27th Governor's Cup Invitational Men's Polo Tournament. In a third quarter final match played today, Manipur Police Sports Club C trounced Manipur Police Sports Club A 5 4 to book a berth in the semis. Th Roman scored three goals, while S. Abunkuman and S. Viking scored one goal each. In the fourth quarter final, two goals from Th Kauba and P. Jotin took Manipur Police Sports Club B to victory against Kurai Polo Club 2-1. The semi-final matches will be played on the 25th of this month at Imphal Polo Ground. The first match of the 16th Governor's Cup Invitational Women's Polo Tournament will kick off tomorrow. Thamiban Youth Polo Club will play K and MM Riding School Sintumai in the first match. The 7th Shaheed Manoranjan Singh Memorial CRPF football tournament kicked off today at Kumanlam Park Main Stadium. In the first knockout match played today, MTFC Laimakong Tras New Crown Club Kongampad 6 2 to enter the quarterfinals. Group Centre CRPF Langjing and Imphal West District Football jointly organised the tournament under the ages of CRPF Manipur and Nagaran Sector and All Manipur Football Association. VB Fum, Kishampad bid the arrival to the first TB Chandra Veteran Invitation Football Tournament. In the fourth league match of the tournament organized by TH Bir Chandra Singh Football Academy at the Academy's Pol Playground, Tawungkok, BV Pum, Kishampad beat all Tamiban Veteran Football Association 1 0. IVFA Kachipur and Musa Major Kul will face each other in the fifth league tomorrow. Popular Manipuri singer and player of Tidim Road Athletic Union, Kwakaitil, Kontau Jambobin created history in T20 cricket tournament today. In a 37th league match of MCA Luang Pokpa T20 Cricket Trophy played at Luang Pokpa Cricket Stadium, Luang Sangbam, Blue Hawk Kurai won the toast and batted first. They were all out for 41 runs in just 12.3 overs and lost a match to Tidim Road Athletic Union Kwakaitil, which made 42 for 2 in just 8.5 overs. Throughout Kwakaitil's bowler, Kanto Jambobin took 8 wickets and was declared the man of the match. In a 38th league match of the Cricket Trophy, PR, PTRC Patsoi beat PSC Kuyathong by two wickets. PTRC Patsoi's bowler Sadananda claimed three wickets and was declared the man of the match. The medical test results for National Sports Academy academic session 2017-18 are declared. The results can be seen on the academy's notice board and motor ability tests will be conducted on April 1st. Before we wrap up the bulletin, a quick look at the headlines once again. Assembly passes two appropriation bills on the last day of the four-day session. Name Cha Kipgin, Hantalians, and the Rathi Shams sworn in as ministers. Chief Minister Birin assures people of speedy resolution of issues facing the state. Works come to a complete halt at RIMS, old staff and students' schools sit in demanding appointment of the rector. And 
police arrest four accused and murder of Sapam Ranjit of Hainang, angry mob destroys houses of the accused.